All right, uh, welcome back to Hilton Hotel. That's where we're still having a beautiful discussion reflecting back on our heritage in South Africa. And like I said just before the ad break, we have the legends in the house. And it, it's only fair that we, we talk to them, we, we give them an opportunity to say something on, on, on our heritage. Uh, Napo was talking about the bait and being passed on to, to the current generation. And, and it, everything just lies to them. Table number three, where the legends are seated. Talk to us about the the heritage now, are we really doing a good job as, as, as the younger generation? I've involved in, in, in education. Uh, what I've realized is that, uh, Mr. Minister, South Africans are not aware what we have in our own country. We've got so much talent in this country. And uh, right now I look around my table, I see people who groom me up. And uh, likewise, we are passing it, you know, passing this legacy downwards. I mean, Mr. Minister, you were there on Thursday last week when you listened to one of the finest youth jazz orchestras in South Africa. Now, you look at now those youngsters, right, says Abigail will go there, training, remember that young singer who came on? She, she will get training, you know, from Sis Abigail, Mom Dorothy. But Jonas will come, teach the trombone players. Hilda will come and pass on, you know, whatever skills they are passing on. But you look at SABC, there's not even a single jazz uh, yes. a program about South African jazz. Nothing at all. And uh, it's, it's, it's an utter shame. Seriously, uh, if we could intervene okay. on behalf of the creative musicians at all. Because there is talent that is coming up so much in this country. You know, you have all, I, I, I can talk the whole day about mm -hmm. young lions in this country. So please do intervene. We need South African jazz programs on our, our national broadcast. All right. Raleigh Bwanda, the journey. If you can just pass the microphone to me. I. Good morning, Good morning. Minister, the minister, the protocols, and everybody. I'm Hilda Tlubadla from the group Matlatini and the Maudela Queens. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Minister, I would definitely would like to say thank you for giving us a chance. A goodies we must have amatlasses for these young generations, teaching them our music and teaching them our choreographers and our style of music. The only thing I definitely would like to say, they don't like our music. They all, yes, they always say, illiterate. they always like imitating Americans. And whenever we say to them, guys, we'd like to leave our legacy with you. But you know, I was so happy. Some time ago, last month, we were in in, in, in Deben, the guys that we taught by a Mr. Welcome, so we were so pleased. would like them to come back and teach us more. We definitely are there. Would like to say, guys, take over. We're growing up. I'm 74 years, man. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And you look younger. But, but I'm still going on strong, like. I'm still going on so strong and would like to do more Ekaya, unlike overseas. We are going abroad next month, always overseas, but would like to do more Ekaya. We've taught children in, 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 in France our music, they know it. We've taught children in America, they know our music. You call them Mautella Queens, they'll come over fly, flying over to say, my guy, my God. We'd like to do more. I'm encouraging you guys to say, please, it's in the pants. 
come over okay. and take over and okay. do our music. We'll teach you. All right. And uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Professor Pitika. Uh, you know, first, I would like to, there are so many legends here, but I'd like to honor just two legends. Bradon Matera was banished for 17 years. He could not publish his poetry, he could not even write his column. When he came back from that, he says, in one of his poems, he says, where was I that I might emerge from the burning furnace of my spirit to call on and aggrieved people to what a repeated insurrection against this nocturnal beast who guard our dreams and command ourselves to our poems to kneel before their guns. Mm. Bradon. Wow. Uh, this one is a short freshly carved this morning when I had a conversation with Dorothy. You sing like we have swallowed the beds of harmonies and melodies. The wind carries your voice to the womb of our ears, to our legs, and we dance. The dance of our beginnings. We, the children of the sun, children of Africa, of our central rivers and mountains, when you move, our minds shift to higher thoughts, our emotions slow to cover the world of our dreams, you were born. Thanks God for that. <laughs> uh, I'd like to turn to Romeo. You are in uh, Alexander, you are my neighbor, I'm on Louis Botha. We have some of the best paintings that we have from uh, people who come in from there, that we pay in from our own, uh, you, know, you, know, you know, pockets. What I realize in South Africa is that art and culture is only music. Yeah. We don't hear anybody talk about painting or talking yeah. about yeah. sculpture, yeah. yeah. right? Yeah. 200 years ago, a great man set out to build a powerful nation in 1816. I'm not going to live long. But what I'm going to be leaving behind is that we have trained a group, we are working on 21 more than life size sculptures. Biko, Sobu, Kwe, Bantu, Stan, practically everything from guys who are gardeners, who are security, uh, you know, people. Last month alone, looking at the website, we had about five professors from American University to see this unfolding revolutionary, you know, history. Okay. And yet, we don't. But we are lucky that uh, uh, the ministers that came before the minister, they really made history because they did nothing. Okay. <laughs> Professor Tuli, that's where we're going to leave it. I'm afraid due to time constraints, we're going to have to leave it right there. Um, can we just get the microphone to table number two, where the most famous producer is seated, Mandla? <laughs> Director. Hi. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, Good morning to the minister. Thank you so much for putting this together and investing to the SABC. Uh, but quickly, I just want to pose this uh, as a, it's, it's a proposal and perhaps a solution that can assist us uh, around the issue of funding. Minister, the content of tourism is heritage. You cannot have tourism. People, a beautiful hotel. They're coming here to experience Nelson Mandela's legacy, Solomon Matango, King Shaga, and so forth. Why don't we have a heritage levy that can be, you simply take the tourism levy for five years, and then you have it. 
and then you have a heritage levy. It's a fund where money will be able to put up, put away, to be able to assist in as far as sustaining the tangible and intangible heritage of South Africa. It's a solution on this funding. And can we please, and it's actually there, it's been adopted, it's just as it has no champion within government. I proposed this, I think, about, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. And uh, it has never been a, and it doesn't have a champion to drive it inside. And I think perhaps you could be that person to work with in getting it uh, done. The National Heritage Council knows about it. I've written about it extensively. Another thing that would be great is for all these folks here who are the living heritage of South Africa to come to government and form some form of partnership with the South African Broadcasting Corporation. With the digital migration, you are going to have multiple channels now. It won't, it won't not just be SABC 1, 2, and 3. Give us a channel. Give us a South African heritage channel that we can partner with you we own half of it, you own half of it as government, and then we can be able to have, start having ownership of the content that we're working on, and we can be able to have pride to, I'm going to something that I own as a, as a producer, actor, whatsoever. And that heritage levy will assist in funding that very Heritage Channel. All right, uh, Mandla, I'm afraid we left with just a few Thank minutes you. before we wrap up the show. A, a quick one from you, Tabo, your closing comment. I think my closing comments, and it's going to be quick, I think it's critical that we involve these very living legends mm -hmm. in education. That's important. I learned more from Umam Kunan Flope than I did in my whole 12 years stand at school. She taught me more about self, about awareness, about culture than I ever did at any school that any teacher ever taught me about young or anything things like that. It'd be so interesting to get her to train more, and I know she does things like that, to train more young artists to go into schools and tell stories the way she used to tell them. And the second thing, I think we underestimate the importance of having accessible internet to people. Everything you guys have been complaining about right now, about artists not being able to start to, to defeat themselves, with accessible internet means that they can control and sit from their own homes, create their own art and sell it themselves. All right. for the government. But that's All it. right. Thank, Thank you so much, Tabona, for your final words. Um, I would like to say, um, having learned from Uncle Don Matera, many are called, few of us are the chosen ones. Yeah. And we are tools. We are willing to eat and drink out of this world of knowledge and wisdom, retain, and I'm very grateful that the bridge is becoming very solid. We're here, we're just waiting to be used. Thank you so much, Napo. And Dr. Msomi, your final comments? Uh, my final comments is to say that uh, uh, with the Living Legends, we have been able to attract other uh, businesses to support, like uh, Sizwe uh, Koboto, Zaluba, uh, who have who've come not asking for money, Adams and Adams, they came to, to support. And we have a number of uh, all these corporates that should be supporting the arts. And thank all you right. very much. Thank you so much, Minister. Final one. Well, uh, <clears throat> the most important thing is that let us expose all the genres of arts. Mm -hmm. um, the point which was made about performing art and spe specifically music. It's not the only art. Mm. All the genres of culture and of heritage that let us work to ensure that people understand all of them and appreciate them as a tool to unite our society. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, to you at home for having watched Morning Live this morning. And thank you so much to uh, the beautiful crowd here, get it here at Hilton Hotel. Thank you so much to the member of the panel, uh, Tabo Ramiz. He's an actor, Napo Mashiani, a poet. Uh, that day, welcome, Omsomi, chairperson of the Living Legends, as well as the Minister of Arts and Culture, mm -hmm. uh, Natim Tetwa. He was also here on the panel. Thank you so much, Nakwe Nalimona. Just as the discussion was getting nice, Nakwe Nalimona. We'll meet again tomorrow morning. You have yourself a beautiful day. Bye-bye.